Ezekiel chapter 20, Israel's past and present sins. And it came to pass in the seventh year, in the fifth month, the tenth day of the month, that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of I am and sat before me. Then came the word of I am unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the elders of Israel and say unto them, Thus saith the Most High Power, Are ye come to inquire of me? As I live, saith the Most High Power, I will not be inquired of by you. Wilt thou judge them, son of man? Wilt thou judge them? Cause them to know the abominations of their fathers. Israel's rebellions in Egypt. And say unto them, Thus saith the Most High Power, In the day when I chose Israel, and lifted up mine hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob, and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt, when I lifted up mine hand unto them, saying, I am the Most High your power. In the day that I lifted up mine hand unto them to bring them forth of the land of Egypt into a land that I had despised for them, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands. Then said I unto them, Cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Most High, your power. But they rebelled against me, and would not hearken unto me. They did not every man cast away the abominations of their eyes, neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them, to accomplish my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I wrought for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted before the heathen, among whom they were, in whose sight I made myself known unto them, in bringing them forth out of the land of Egypt. Israel's rebellions in the wilderness. Wherefore, I caused them to go forth out of the land of Egypt, and brought them into the wilderness. And I gave them my statues, and showed them my judgments, which, if a man do, he shall even live in them. Moreover, also I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Most High, that sanctify them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statues, and they despised my judgments, which, if a man do, he shall even live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted, then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. But I wrought for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted before the heathen, in whose sight I brought them out. Yet also I lifted up my hand unto them in the wilderness, that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands." Because they despised my judgments, and walked not in my statues, but polluted my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless, mine eye spared them before destroying them. Neither did I make an end of them in the wilderness. But I said unto their children in the wilderness, Walk ye not in the statues of your fathers, neither observe their judgments, nor defile yourselves with their idols. I am the Most High your power. Walk in my statues, and keep my judgments, and do them, and hallow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Most High your power. Notwithstanding, the children rebelled against me. They walked not in my statues, neither kept my judgments to do them, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. They polluted my Sabbaths. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. Nevertheless, I withdrew my hand and wrought for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted in the sight of the heathen, in whose sight I brought them forth. I lifted up mine hand unto them also in the wilderness, that I would scatter them among the heathen and disperse them through the countries, because they had not executed my judgments, but had despised my statues, and had polluted my Sabbaths, and their eyes were after their father's idols. Wherefore, I gave them also statues that were not good, and judgments whereby they should not live. And I polluted them in their own gifts, 
in that they caused to pass through the fire all that openeth the womb, that I might make them desolate, to the end that they might know that I am the Most High Power. Israel's Rebellion in the Promised Land Therefore, son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, and say unto them, Thus saith the Most High Power, Yet in this your fathers have blasphemed me, in that they have committed a trespass against me. For when I had brought them into the land, for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to them, then they saw every high hill and all the thick trees, and they offered there their sacrifices, and there they presented the provocation of their offering. There also they made their sweet savor and poured out there their drink offerings. Then I said unto them, What is the high place whereunto ye go? And the name thereof is called Bama unto this day. Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Most High Power, Are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers, and commit ye whoredom after their abominations? For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols, even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Most High Power, I will not be inquired of by you. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all that ye say, We will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. As I live, saith the Most High Power, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you and I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. Israel's Future and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, saith the Most High Power. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And I will purge out from among you the rebels, and them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Most High Power. As for you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Most High Power, Go ye, serve ye every one of his idols, and hereafter also, if ye will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols. For in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Most High Power, there shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land, serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings and the first fruits of your oblations with all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. And ye shall know that I am the Most High when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to your fathers. And there shall ye remember your ways and all your doings wherein ye have been defiled, and ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. And ye shall know that I am the Most High when I have wrought with you for my name's sake, not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings. O ye house of Israel, saith the Most High Power. The Burning Force Moreover, the word of I am came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face towards the south, and drop thy word towards the south, and prophesy against the force of the south field, and say to the force of the south, Hear the word of I am, thus saith the Most High Power, Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee, and every dry tree. The flaming flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from the south to the north shall be burned therein. And all flesh shall see that I, the Most High, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Then said I, 
Ah, most high I am. They say of me, doth he not speak parables? All praise. Hold up, that, that deserves a hand clap. All praise to the power of the son of man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, I am that I am. He literally described the past and present sins of Israelites from back then even to this day today. The most high I am went from Israel's rebellions in Egypt to the rebellions in the wilderness to the rebellions in the promised land and Israel's future. Wow. I mean, it, it doesn't get more plain than that right there. The Most High is talking to us and he's reminding us. He's constantly reminding us of our past sins from our forefathers. And again, like it states in, you know, past chapters of Ezekiel, even though the sins of your forefathers are not your sins, at the same time, you have to understand and remember the history of of us as Israel as a whole committing sins so we can change our ways as a whole to not commit or bear iniquities or sins ever again in the sight of the most high power. I am that I am. All praise. And also for his only begotten son, the son of man, to finally come and save the remnant of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, trying to keep the high holy days, trying to stay righteous and trying to keep their head up in these last days. All praise. Shalom.